Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's Morning Prayer Service. This is Thursday, November 14th. Our service begins on page 12. We begin on page 12 with the confession and absolution. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those that confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant to most merciful Father for his sake, that we may live a godly, righteous, and sober life. The glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite on page 14. We say the, this portion of the Venite together. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. And now we'll have the scripture readings. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 37. We will read this responsibly by full verse. Fret not yourself because of the ungodly, neither be envious of those who are evildoers shall soon be dried up like the grass and be withered even as the green herb. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and surely you shall be fed. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way unto the Lord and put your trust in him. He shall bring it to pass. He shall make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noon day. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not grieve yourself over the one whose way prospers, over the one who carries out evil counsels. Refrain from wrath and let go of anger. Fret not yourself, lest you be moved to do evil. For evildoers shall be rooted out, but those who wait patiently for the Lord they shall inherit the land. Yet a little while, and the ungodly shall be clean gone, and you shall look for their place, and they shall not be there. But the meek-spirited shall possess the land, and shall be refreshed with an abundance of peace. The ungodly plot against the just, and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord shall laugh at them in scorn, for he sees that their day is coming. The ungodly have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy and to slay those who walk aright. Their, their sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. <clears throat> the little that the righteous has is better than the great riches of the ungodly. The arms of the ungodly shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our reading for today, uh, we continue in Acts, beginning with the 15th chapter, the 22nd verse. Then it seemed <clears throat> then it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas called Barsabbas and Silas, leading men among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the brothers who are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, greetings. Since we have heard that some persons have gone out from us and troubled you with words, unsettling your minds, although we gave them no instructions, it has seemed good to us, having come to one accord, to choose men and send them to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay on you no greater burden than these requirements, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what has been strangled and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So when they were sent off, they went down to Antioch and having gathered the congregation together, they delivered the letter. And when they had read it, they rejoiced because of its encouragement. And Judas and Silas, who were themselves prophets, encouraged and strengthened the brothers with many words. And after they had spent some time, they were sent off in peace by the brothers to those who had sent them. But Paul and Barnabas remained in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle today is the Ecce Deus, which can be found on page 85. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember his name, that his name is exalted. See the praises of the, sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end when we have the apostles creed on page 20 i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. 
Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world, that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that, when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. This is Thursday, and on Thursdays we have a particular prayer focus on the Diocese of the Southwest, which is appropriate because we have our annual synod going on at this time. Almighty Father, we thank you and praise you for our diocese and the work that you're doing there. I particularly ask that you would smooth out all technical difficulties and let the synod that is that is occurring uh, be clear to all and let communication be clear and guide and direct us in your way according to your will. Yes, Lord, we, we do ask that you put a covering of calm and peace and above all your guidance, your will over the synod, that you be with all of the delegates who were able to be there in person, that you keep them healthy and strong you keep our bishop healthy and strong, and that the agenda which is accomplished is your agenda, Lord. Things that are important to you are brought forward and kept in the spotlight, and things that are not as important um, for you are allowed to just fade into the background and can be dealt with another time. Um, as elections are held and people are chosen for Positions, uh, let those people be the people you elect, Lord. Um, let men's agendas just uh, fall into the background. We ask that the business of this diocese be guided by you and you only, Lord. It's a huge diocese, and we just don't have time for misdirection and confusion. And so we ask for your help every day, in every way. All these things we ask in your name. We continue with a prayer of St. John Christosom, which is found on page 26 or in the app. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you are promised for your well-beloved son when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.